flowing, the wind is blowing, we're popping champagne, life is good. We don't know what this challenge is about to bring, but we know that the season is called Ride or Dies. Everybody's with their loved one, and that to me screams personal. Personal seasons are the messiest. This is when you get yourself into the most trouble. I'm back. And I'm bringing Jack. <laughs> I'm here with my ride or die, Laurel, <laughs> who's a fucking badass bitch. <laughs> Where do you start with Laurel? She's one of the best competitors to ever play the game. It's heart. It's a lot of heart. And it's a lot of like integrity. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't. This is too nice. Just like being around your energy inspires me to do better. My gosh. Because it's like, wow, I need to set my shit up. We cannot wait to fight for that money. Surprise, surprise, Pussy Chicken, King is back. And this time, not alone, with my Tamara, <laughs> with my tea. I'm here with the one and only Mr. Turbo, my ride or die, and former champion. I refer to Turbo as my vicious teddy bear. He's a man of his words, he's loyal, he's got your back. But if you're gonna be my enemy, I'm gonna be your enemy. Sam and I actually met on Instagram. I slid into Sam's DMs. Yep, you did. I'm glad you told that the truth, because <laughs> you do make you do sometimes change it. She, it's a modern, she slid in. It's a modern day love story. And three months ago we got married, so now we're doing a challenge after yeah. three months of being married. What kind of psychopaths do that? Yeah, I mean we've decided this is <laughs> calling this our honeymoon. No, we're not. There we are. I want to introduce my partner, Norris. You might know her from Are You The One. You might know her from X on the Beach. You also can see me in a lot of different music videos. The qualities that I like about Nelson, he's funny, he's outgoing, he can get along with everybody. I could go on, so. Keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. My husband's big. I wish we were boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> so do my parents, honestly. Um, but we're just best friends. We met on Big Brother, and uh, we're so excited to be here. Yes. He always brings out the best in me. He's my comfort blanket. She brings out the best in me, and I, she makes, oh my gosh, why am I crying? It's day <laughs> one, like, what is happening? I'm literally crying. <laughs> why are we crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Oh, cool, crying on day one. <laughs> we're that pair. So the first time we ever flirted was in an elevator in a hotel getting casted for Survivor. We were flirting for a long time, but we're not flirting anymore. <laughs> At least I don't think so, right? No. Okay, good. I'm happy to be back, and I brought alongside my friend Mariah. So Fessy has never won the challenge. Why have I never won the challenge? Uh, sometimes. You might be a little cocky. So Have sometimes. you met Turbo? I'm not yeah, cocky. Dude. I was waiting behind you and asking to ring, and you tried to give everyone is to make the fool. So can you share sometimes? Yes, I can. Here, take my drink. Yeah, it's not too but late. You're not too late. Because I didn't know you were behind. I me. was fucking there, and I was asking three times. Don't act like an idiot now. Well, either way, Turbo. Yeah, either way. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry you feel I don't this give way. A fuck you your can story pout now. on the front of the boat. Yeah, don't act like that now. When I'm in situations like this where you're fighting with somebody, it's very easy to lose a sense of what's actually happening. But now that I have my ride or die Jack here, it's just nice to have somebody who understands me. <laughs> this is so dumb. Talking now, I can like idiot now. The only way that I can describe him is that he's the worst wedding invitation of all time. Don't bring him to your celebration, because he will ruin it, just with his vibe. I will see you guys in elimination. How are you gonna go elimination on purpose? A lot, a lot. Everyone can act in disrespectful now. He's mentally trying to F with people. Like, okay, I'm the champ. I want to go to elimination. Well, you know what, buddy? You we ain't got to ask twice. We will give that to you. Uh, We're going to sign you right up. Yeah. Go ahead and take one by one out. Not a problem. 
I'm gonna see you one by one in elimination. I will never ask her again some drink. Nothing. Even if I'm dying from the water, and only she have a water, I will prefer to die. <laughs> I'll pour it out if it makes you happier. I feel like I'm babysitting. I'm back, and I brought with me my ride or die, Chauncey. You slid in the DMs. This girl right here slid into my DMs. I did She's not slide into your DMs. Stop lying. Don't be a liar. She said she wanted to get freaky, and here we are. I did not say that. I liked some of his picks. Yes, I did. I was like, oh, we are ready to fuck shit up. Oh, yeah. Are you really excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> my ride or die. Yeah. Bro, this shit is beautiful. Yes, we're both buddies. Yes, sir. I actually ended up in a room with Turbo, Chauncey, and Johnny. I know Johnny from out of the house, and I think Johnny's going to be a very strong competitor, and he's here to play and make big moves. Michelle and I have talked a lot about who we're aligned with. We have our fingers in a lot of pots. What do you put your fingers in? Holes. We have our fingers in a lot of holes. Ew. Yeah, it's like, nah. I like don't love that I was saying. thinking of rock climbing, too. Like, <laughs> that's weird. Whatever. You right there? Yeah, right there. Right there. We gotta go. <laughs> I saw this girl walking down the strip. And I approached her, <laughs> got her number. Not really anything came of that at that point. I was really interested in seeing where our relationship was gonna go. And it's difficult sometimes, you know, not to let the feelings get in the way. Between the two of us, there's always been like attraction. You know, there's always been tension. And I think if I'm being completely honest, honest. you know, I have a hand in, you know, I guess letting her feelings get a little more involved than they should be because I'm a real flirt. Pretty steep competition in here. I feel like it's gonna be an intense season. I think you'll do well with Devin as well. Yeah, just Devin's the brains of the operation. That guy is That's why smart. he's in my room. I've done so many seasons with him. We've been through the ups and downs sure. of this game, and he's one of my closest friends. I mean, like, that's gonna be the thing. Like, they call it the ride or die, but like, it's gonna help to know your partner. Now we are best friends, but we were definitely enemies. Enemies, frenemies, friends, ride or die. Yes! The term ride or die, no matter what happens in this game, you're gonna have their back. Interesting. But I mean, you guys are married. I feel like you guys are gonna be good. Are you nervous at all? Are you prepared to eat, it, eat a cow dick? Oh, for sure. Really? Oh, give me that dick. I wasn't expecting oh, give me that dick. That. I'm gonna have to, like, the ones <laughs> give Kayla the reins. Oh, which I'm like, is that, like, not normal? It's not normal. Okay. I like to take charge. Take charge, but as it's her thing, yeah. I think probably I should give her the. I love that. Sam is definitely way more competitive than I am. It like hurts his feelings when he doesn't win. Mm. I think it's just you're used to losing. Sorry. <laughs> used to losing. Do you not? I no, used to losing on the challenge. Yeah, I love I love losing. Well, good luck, Sam. It's good luck to you. Thank you. How you feeling? How everything? Nervous? Yeah. I yeah. feel good. You have your brother here. I know. There's no bond stronger than a sibling I know. bond. I know. I'm like excited. you two are He's gonna excited. have each other's back like no other. Oh, for sure. It's your brother. Yeah. But then again, if my brother was in here and somebody said some smart shit, I'd go fucking crazy. Yeah. There he is. Your star. Yeah. You're shining so bright. Hey. Are you Casey's brother? I am the reigning champion from last season. So let's go. And this season, I brought my little brother Kenny. That's me. <laughs> also known as Casey's brother. It's weird that Nani's not here. It's so weird that she's That's not here. Weird to me. It's yeah. Nani is now my girlfriend. You know, uh, we're in love with each other for a reason. That is my best friend, um, the love of my life. I can't imagine being here without her. So can we bring her in? You know, can, can, where's my girlfriend? I think it's Nellie Toast. Nellie T. Toast, let's go. <laughs> get on the chair, Nellie, Nellie T. Nellie, get around. Nellie T. Get, Toast. Gather around, people. Oh, mm. Everybody hear uh, you, hear you. 
If you made it here, you are here to play. But can you really play? We will find out as the game begun. But has it really begun? Yes, it has. Put the motherfucking drink in the air and let's go! Today's challenge is called Bolas for Blood. Oh, that's cool. You gotta be careful who you trust, especially me. Bring them out. How are you feeling? Good, I'll fucking run this show. I've only been there 10 minutes. Why are you just telling me shut up? Because people can hear you. I don't give a fuck. Sam rules the world! <laughs> Shush. Let's just like be quiet for at least two weeks. Two Please. weeks? I can't do two weeks. I can't do two weeks. Yeah. Just give me that. All right, two weeks. One week. Two weeks. One week. Ten days. Any sexual favors that you want, I will give them to you if you just lay low. Please. For okay, two, two weeks. weeks. Like just shut the fuck up. Even the stuff we don't do back home. Okay. <laughs> Anything. Deal. Like just shut the fuck up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh. All right, people, we all know the game begins when you get to the airport, when the cast meets each other. So Johnny and Norris had a couple drinks, got on the plane, started making out, and the whole cast saw that. Coming into this, you thought y'all were going to be a couple or No, or, no. Or explore that? <laughs> Potentially, but, you know. He shut it down real quick. <laughs> you know, it's best for a game, and I think it's best too. We've always just been really good friends, you know. The problem is Raven wants it to be romantic. Mm -hmm. And like, after Raven sees that I'm into you and stuff, like, it, there's jealousy involved, and that's obvious. I feel like we're gonna screw our own game up. This is gonna fuck us up. It's giving love. It's giving love vibes. It's giving soulmate. <laughs> I feel very upset, and I'm feeling very alone. I had intentions on coming in here and building our friendship relationship with him, and now that he's putting his energy elsewhere, I just don't know how this is going to affect our game. <laughs> hmm? Did you ever cross that path before in the past? No, we haven't. It might have crossed my mind, but like that's that's dead and gone. Like now I can just keep my head in the game. It's all good. Whatever you want to do, baby boo, I support. What can we do now? We can just play the game. I'm trying to keep it together, um, but we'll see. How you feel about being here? It's great. Yeah. Um... I think I have a little understanding how the game works. <laughs> was I what you expected? You are not so introverted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've been on the show before? Yeah. Which show? Um, I kind of Love Island, Germany. Um, I started my season with a big lie. My original show is The Mole Germany. The Mole was one person in the game that manipulated the whole game. My plan is not to tell directly that I'm The Mole Germany. Honestly, I hate lies and I feel very bad for this lie. Um, I'm totally fine with uh, my decision not to tell that I'm the mole. Kim trusts too many people. So it's a dating show, though. It was a dating show. How'd you like that? It was no, not really. Obviously, <laughs> I think I'm a bit too picky 
for to find my big laugh on TV. <laughs> yeah. I'm just starting to get to know Colleen, and obviously I think she's very beautiful. She's actually a very smart girl. But I've seen her around the house, and I don't really know where she stands, so I'm trying to feel her out and find out, does she really have feelings for me, or is she just playing the game? But I believe in um, the law of attraction. So if you think positive, the positive things will come. I believe in the law of attraction. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just, you're attracted to what you're attracted to. Outwardly so, Kim and Colleen are very nice, and they seem friendly, and they seem, like, jovial. Like, They're frauds. Like, yeah. You can't lie when, like, you're lying about things that are televised, when right. you can go back and pull up the receipts. I am a student of life, so I study everything. So getting ready to get into this competition, I looked up and studied everyone. She said she was on Love Island, but she was on a show called The Mole, where you lie to win, and she was the mole, and she won. TJ is the coolest thing ever. Anytime you think of the challenge, you automatically think of TJ. He is, he's just so sick. Welcome to the challenge, Ride or Dies. Yeah, All right, well, stating the obvious, we live in crazy times right now. And already, Casey and Kenny had to leave the game. End the game, end the game. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I'm feeling friendly. So how about I bring in two teams to replace them? So come on out, everyone. Who is that? Nominator? Oh! Oh, let's go, baby! What up, buddies? As you can see, we have Nam. This season, he brought his ride or die Emmy. My ride or die Emmy, straight from Germany. People probably know me from Big Brother Celebrity or Temptation Island VIP. I work on a lot of shows. We're going to stick together like fucking glue. Ooh. And we have some rookies, Olivia and her ride or die Horatio. Watch out for these two. We're ride or dies because we met a long time ago, 2014. I'm a very energetic person, so I'm very blessed to have him. He kind of keeps me uh, I'm the balance level. right here. That energy attracts people, and I kind of just went towards her, and ride or die right now. Yeah. I consider myself very athletic. I know Olivia. She does not quit. That's one thing about her. GI Barbie right here. Now, let's get down to business. Today's challenge is called Bolas for Blood. Buried in this mud pit are over 100 bolas. Each ride or die pair has a station with three questions. And these are questions that you, as ride or dies, should know about each other. When I say go, you and your partner are gonna run through the mud pit to your station. Reveal your questions, find the bolas that make up your answer, attach them together, and hang them at your station. You're gonna continue this process for all three answers. Once you have all three answers correct, race those bolas back through the mud pit. First pair place their bolas up on that finish line, will win today's challenge and have some major power in this game. Let's go. Good luck. Nelson, when's the last time you won a daily challenge? <laughs> Look, man, it's not about these daily challenges. It's about the final. But I haven't won a daily challenge in a long time. But people, it's kind of worked out in my favor a little bit. You know, I don't want to get last. I want to see what Nuri's got out there against the other girls because it's going to get feisty. It's going to get dirty. We're going to get some hair pulling. We're going to get some screaming. Might even see a little blood and tears. Who knows? Ready? 
This word is the worst word I've ever read. In German, we would say, addiere die Zahlen deines Alters. I'm a Broadway dancer. Tumbling, gymnastics, dancing. Annalise is a D1 soccer player. She is as athletic as they come. There's nothing that she can't do. What a ride or die means is someone that will lift you up when you need it the most. And that's what Annalise and I are to each other. 29. Some of the things that I admire about Horacio is definitely his willpower. And he's very talented and he's very athletic. And he's cutie pie. Hello, America. Slide in the DMs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like coming into this game, I want to play the most honest game possible. The idea of going into it with the honesty card is so cute for us. Um, it's just not gonna be realistic for the game in the long run. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. I got four, I got four. Go, go, go. I'm definitely burying my true feelings for the sake of me and Johnny's team, for me and Johnny to be on the same page. Gotta stay strong because for the sake of this money and the sake of winning, I'm not gonna let anything get in the way of that. Multiply the letters of our first names. It's 30. You're fine. Relax, relax. We are like behind everybody, so relax. That's fine. Michelle, yeah. Michelle, 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 Michelle! Next one. Here. 64. I think where we'll struggle is potentially. Communication, probably. I mean, I can't even get a word out yeah, because you're right. telling me that communication yeah, is our right. issue. My bad. <laughs> I need it too. Multiply the total number of letters in each of your names. 18. 18. My ride or die is my wife. I'm pretty sure Kayla knows everything about me. I feel like Sam definitely doesn't know everything about me. I think he just learned my birthday recently. Multiply. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. Multiply. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five. Five times seven. Three times. Go, Tori. Go, 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 go. Yeah. That's six, eight, zero, and eight. I got a two. One, one, two. Okay, I got a five, I got an Zero. I got a two. I got a two. I got a two. I got a two. Two, two, two. Two, two. fucked up. Zero, nine. Zero, zero. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. My dad's always been uh, an outstanding role model for me. Uh, I've always understood, like, my parents getting divorced. You know, he lives kind of far away. So I guess competing on the challenge, he'd be able to watch it from home <laughs> and, you know, see what I can do. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> He's going to be so proud. I hope so. <laughs> it's coming down to the wire. Check. Check, check. Check, check, check. check, check. Come on. Come on, baby! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Uh -oh. Get the ball! Oh, shit. Come on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, Michelle! Got it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> we did it! We did it! We were like lions through that mud. I even lost my shoe. <laughs> I really don't think the other challengers were expecting a rookie-rookie pair to win. And honestly, I kind of felt the energy in the house. 
-hmm. Going one way, but now it's a whole different story because we got the power, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Didn't they over celebrate? That was way too much. You like, found some balls. You found some balls. Cool. Calm down. Like, let's go. Oh my god, I what hate was that. About? I Why hate was he that. flexing? Let's go. Let's go. We get it. You won. Yeah. Cool. See? Let's go. Fuck, man. You're not 32. Are you 33? Yeah. Nelson. Yeah. Nelson. Nah. Nelson. Fuck me. Nelson. For God. Oh, uh, Nelson, you got your age wrong? <laughs> That's a tough L. Nerissa and Nelson seem like a really sweet team, but let's be real here. Nelson hasn't, I mean, won a daily challenge in how many seasons? 51 consecutive daily challenges. That he's lost? In a row. Zero wins. Oh, my God. No! I can't win a daily on the challenge! <laughs> Great first challenge. I love when new people win. And Johnny Raven killing it. Appreciate it, TJ. You are the only ride or die that are safe from elimination. Let's go. I couldn't be more proud of you, my little boo over here winning first place. And it makes me feel good because I know I'm not about to be in any trouble. With winning comes power. With power comes responsibility. I need you to go back to the house, deliberate, and decide four rider dies <laughs> to plead their case to you in the interrogation. Ultimately, you'll select one of those rider die pairs to battle it out in the zone. As for their opponents, well, I'm not going to spoil all the fun right now. <laughs> I'll see you in the zone. Get out of here. Johnny and Raven winning the first challenge, two rookies. I mean, I'm pretty shook. They're definitely going to be playing with their power however they want, and that's scary. Like, how? No one died. No, no one. It looks like I aligned myself with the perfect rookie because Johnny and Raven got the win today. First season, first challenge, first win. Way to go. I wish I had that, but now I have you. I'm a little bit scared. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think someone found out about my previous season? Uh, little lie? No. This is a great position to be in. Yeah, you know? for sure. But, you know, like TJ said, we have four very difficult decisions to make, mm -hmm. and one of those partnerships are going into elimination. These decisions can help us build alliances, Yeah. have enemies. Do you want to take all rookie rookie pairs off the table? It would be amazing for us to turn the tide and have the rookies take over the challenge. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Well, we don't have to show our cards. So what I say is we pick someone like Kim and Colleen, rookie, rookie, just to kind of throw it off. We don't want to bring four vets in here and say, hey, we're fucking y'all up. I'm down. That's just not smart. We have power now, but wait until the next challenge. And then the vets are in the seat questioning us. So? My suggestion, tell me what you think. Okay. Laurel and Jack. Laurel, she keeps to herself. OK, who else? Tori and Devin. I'm not throwing mm -hmm. Devin down because I don't want him as enemy. He's smart as shit. Mm -hmm. And he will fucking come for us if we he's given the opportunity. We throw Kim and Colleen in there, throw in some rookies. They might not think we're only going for vets. So that's three. Kayla and Sam. That was one right there. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Ready to right. talk to him. Do you have any idea? No, do you? No, really don't. Uh, only time you guys are going to see me in the gym all season. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No! You hate to see it. I expected that one, Dev. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually the worst move they could have done. Yeah. Laurel is definitely a little confused to why her name's on the nominee board, but I mean, it makes sense. She is a champ, she is a badass, but that's how this game is. If you're a threat, you're, you're gonna be targeted. God damn it! This is horseshit! I'm kind of loving Johnny and Raven's bold move. Good for you. Glad I didn't have to do it. I love, love, love to see vets on their toes day one. It's usually a rookie bloodbath, so this is bringing me so much joy. Bold move. Bold yeah. fucking move from the rookies. <laughs> Not the smartest. Why do, you, why do you guys think you're here? I think you're here to make maybe a deal with us, which we're very open to. We're not going out here and giving anyone straight up deals. Yeah. But if we spare you, what does that mean for us? Yeah. So I'm totally open to like some sort of friendship. Maybe we protect you. If you protect us this time, if you go for somebody like not us. We don't know who y'all are close to or anything like that. Yeah, totally. So, like, I don't really have a lot of people that have my back right now. I need somebody. If they spare us, do you think we should actually actually work with them? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Congrats. Congrats. Appreciate it. You guys had a great week today. Appreciate it. Devin and Tori, how you guys doing? Been better. Yeah. <laughs> you guys definitely pose a threat. You guys are, in our eyes, like, king and queen of the vest, right? Yeah. I don't know if I'd go king and queen. I know you don't have any loyalty towards me, but if you guys have the power in the future, we give you guys a pass right now. Being a strong vet pair, will you guys- Where are you at? I'm willing to say if we were to win in the future, definitely throw you guys a bone back because I'm not trying to go home first. I'm yeah. not trying to go in and I'm speaking pretty blunt right now. I don't know how my partner feels about that. I would be willing to make that deal of, we win a challenge, I don't want to have to worry. I'll never go back. I'll go in before I go back on my work. If the roles were reversed, could we have trusted you guys? Like, would we have been called? Absolutely not. Because for me, you're under my radar. So, I mean, okay. Absolutely. The rookies. We have all such a big target on our back. We want to trust you guys, yeah. like all being rookies, of course. But we need to make sure like people have our backs, you know? Well, let me propose this, okay? Us all four being rookies, if we spare y'all, mm -hmm. I just need to know, moving forward, the conversations you guys have, I can trust, are in our favor as well. Yeah. What's the tea, Jack? So, Colleen and Cam. Everything they've told you was not true. So I don't know if you want to align yourself with somebody who has completely fabricated their story since the moment they stepped foot in this house. Where did you, where is this all coming from? It's public information. She said she was on Love Island. You can keep asking her about Love Island. She has a lot of answers about it. She was never on Love Island. She was on a show called The Mole where she lied to win. So like, think about whose word means something. Like, sure. I'm an honest person. To me, if you're gonna lie from day one, yeah. their word doesn't mean shit. We respect you both. Yeah. And I know that for you in particular, you're going to be with the vets. Would we be in those chairs if you had the power? I never come in with pre-made alliances. I build my relationships in the game based on performance. The way I would base things if I was in your chair would be who did the worst on the field. This is a great conversation. We got to know each other a little bit better. Good chat, guys. Yeah, Thank you, man. Nice, nice meeting you, though. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice, nice actually having a combo. Of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> OK, well, that was a lot. Um, I just don't know if I can trust them still, you know? We just have to consider, like, whoever we throw in, if they come back, we got to decide if we want that target on us.
This is so fun. I'm not even exaggerating top five moments of my life. I came here to have a good time because you know what? If you're having fun, if you're a positive person that people want to be around, then hopefully you'll stick around. You jealous? No. No, I'm, sure. I'm never jealous. All these women in the room, they could be naked and he only sees me. Is that not right? Did I not yeah, just say that? I see Tommy too, though. <laughs> yes. Qualities I love mostly about Amber, she's authentic, and that can never be replaced ever. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> I've never had someone in this game that I can really like rock with. I love having you here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to feel uncomfortable ever. You know what I mean? And so it's hard because you guys are all bold personalities. Yeah. You're so shy compared to me, which is fine. Like I respect it all day. But for me, like I'm I mean, socially for me, hello. I can talk to a fucking wall. Respectfully. That's good, though. This house is very interesting, and I like to have fun. Yeah, she's definitely exploring her I'm options. I'm a flirt. What can I say? Two people can't drive a car, can they? Only one person can. Take drive that motherfucker. You know Put the gas on. It's like you're smart or something. <laughs> I'm still looking for love in all the wrong places, I know. But Olivia, those pretty blue eyes and that smile. Am I in love? Don't find out. We met on X on the Beach. Oh, wow. Yeah. We had issues with our exes, and we just spent our time in the house yeah. together. And OK, dope. Yeah. I really thought y'all were, re were related. When I say yeah. brother, that's how close yeah. he is yeah. to me, but gotcha. he's not my biological brother. No. Oh, you really? know when you say, like, look alike, though. Yeah. he also <laughs> feels like a brother. Literally, when he met my mom, my mom was like, your mom's I have a home. son. Yeah, yeah I, would say I that's love my that. Sister. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Like if shit was going down and like anything. Yeah, like that, yeah. We're really close. This is our first time like competing. Yeah. You know? So you're seeing a whole other side of like. Yeah. Like, oh, us. Uh, I'm even seeing yeah. a whole other side of both yeah. of us. Yeah. 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 Friendships get broken, and with Jack, no amount of money can break that trust. Nobody in this house can break that trust. It's so nice to have somebody that I can truly trust here. Jack is my true ride or die. I'm still like in shock in a way. Like mm -hmm. honestly, like I have I barely blinked this whole time. I'm like, is this happening? You know, like okay, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's happening. It's process, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. But but you know, like okay. I even told Johnny, like I just want to be careful. You know, we don't want to put the wrong target on our back. You know? So I'm just trying to be smart, and we're gonna sleep on it. I feel like you guys are smart enough. Not smart enough, but like, you guys know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. I'm kind of gassing Raven up, you know? Like, I'm just like saying, you're so smart, you're gonna make the right decision. Do I think they're smart? No. Do I know what I'm saying is smart? Yes. I want them to spare me. Kayla, I love you! <laughs> How are you feeling about all this? I like, I like certainty. <laughs> yeah, we've got none of that right now. I don't think we've got certainty. Not at all. Wouldn't mind maybe having a little word with Johnny Boy. <laughs> I don't like being a social thing. Let me, I'll just let, I'm a social, look, I'm British. Like, do you want to offer doing their dishes for the next week? We're like giving them our fucking mattresses? Like, we have literally no, nothing. know nothing about this game aside from that the winning pair sends in four pairs to nominations. We don't know if they have to go against each other. We don't know if they have to only pick from those four. I don't think you're ever out of the woods with TJ. <laughs> I feel like he can throw anything your way. I have no idea what's going on and I don't know if I really want to find out, but I'm about to. and flopping between safe and dangerous. The only thing that separates rookies and vets in this game is the title of being a vet and knowing the game a little bit better. But if we take the fucking game now, I need to know if you guys are with it. The way people make it to finals is you have to have a, a fucking team. I can feel the fucking energy right now. You know? I'm in. <laughs> I know the vets are working with each other. They always do. That's how they play the game. 
Vets line up and attack the rookies. So this season, the rookies have actually come together and they're a lot smarter than the vets think. This could be my moment. I could be the leader of one of the groups. I guess I got a little mini alliance right here. Let's do it. I'm definitely not working with the vets. None of them have talked game to me. I'm not talking game to them. They've made it very clear. They haven't wanted to work with me in the past. So I feel like right now I'm just kind of riding with Jay and Michelle and hopefully we can build numbers from there. This is the first time in a lot of seasons that the rookies have enough numbers to actually do this. Let's do the shit now and let's change the fucking tide. All right, team. Let's do what we came here to do. And all the rookies are cool. Welcome to the zone. We started the season off right at the last challenge. Our winners, Raven and Johnny, killing it. So, with winning comes power. With power comes responsibility. You had to choose four pairs to interrogate. Now those four pairs are in danger. Let's bring them out. All right, it's decision time. So, Raven, Johnny, which pair are you selecting for possible elimination? Who's it gonna be? You know, TJ, this is a hard decision. You know, coming in here as two rookies, we kind of wanted to set the tone, and I think we did that, winning our first challenge. This might stir some shit up, but, you know, we came to play. And we're not here to play a wimpy ass game. We're not gonna punk out like we've seen some past rookies do. So we're gonna go big and say, Kayla and Sam. What a fucking stupid move. The past season has always been veterans versus rookies, getting them out little by little. And it's making a statement like, hey, we're here to compete. We're not scared of you guys. All right, Kayla and Sam, you two are playing no matter what. Cool, sounds good. The rest of you can join me at the draw. And this draw will determine your fate in the game. Come on. Oh, fuck. At the draw. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow, this is wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the hell's going on, TJ? Oh my god. Oh my. In front of you, there's a rock. That rock has three daggers in it. You're gonna select one of these daggers. Those daggers hold your fate in this game. All right, baby. Fuck. This is genius, bro. This is genius. I love it. Start off with you. Tori, Devin, go ahead and select the dagger. Interesting. Blank. Go ahead and step back. Okay. Sharp. It's a real dagger. Turbo, don't get any ideas. Daggers stay in the zone. What do you mean, brother? Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? I was Can kidding. you explain me? Yes, I'm, it's just what? a joke. Because you're good what at martial arts. What is this joke? Because you're good at martial arts. Tory partner, that will to pussy chicken. When you're afraid, and then you doesn't have an honor, so this is the level up. Pussy, pussy chicken. 
if you're worse than pussy chicken, level two. And then Devon is a level two pussy chicken. I apologize. Good. If I was a bird, I know who I would shit on, you know? Old challenger. I trust the new challenger more than old challenger. Whether you go home today. All right, next up, Laurel and Jack. Select the dagger. Ready? Yep. This one? Okay. Have it. All right, that dagger is blank. Fuck yes. Thanks, God. <laughs> I'm so relieved we can go back up on the risers and watch the competition. What does that mean? Two blank daggers, one dagger left. Kim, Colleen, do the honors. It says safe. That dagger is marked safe. No. <laughs> Holy shit! No way! It says safe! What the fuck? What the? Everybody's mind going right now. Oh my god. Oh my god! Safe? <laughs> Can someone wake me up? That was a present from the universe. I love it. Now what? So, congratulations! Oh my god! <laughs> Colleen, Kim, you are safe. Thanks. Now, this season of the challenge is all about loyalty, trust, and gaining favor with the right people. So I'm gonna give you a choice. You could pick one pair and keep them safe as well. Oh my God, this game is gonna get messy, super messy, because if you're down there with your friends, you're gonna only be able to save one friend, and you know the other friend is gonna be pissed off. This is crazy. Hey, we'll ride with you. Don't trust them. Don't trust this guy. No, we'll ride with you. So, which pair are you gonna save? Take the Lord and them, so. Kim, Colleen, who are you saving with you right now? Okay, so it's up to you. Come on. All right, we are both a rookie rookie pair, and we believe in the rookies, and Ooh. we want to save. Jack and Laurel. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. I am taken back. Colleen and Kim saved me and Laurel, and I am so relieved and so happy. I'm going to put what I think I know about them aside. You showed me your true colors, that you can have my back, and at some point in this game, I'll have your back back. Four of you, go ahead and rejoin the group. Tori and Devin, you're playing tonight. Let's do it. Good luck, guys. How did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, you are playing You Move, I Move. As you can see, there are two giant mazes. Each maze contains five balls. You and your partner are gonna start by standing on those platforms next to the maze. When you move, it moves. Your goal is to free all five balls all the way through this maze. First team to get it done wins tonight's elimination round, stays in the game. Losing team goes home empty-handed and the shame of being the first ones out. In a very huge game, going for your share of one million dollars. You gotta go home with the shame and broke. Got it? Fair enough. Yeah. All right, good luck, everyone. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go, baby. Good luck, y'all. Curveball after curveball after curveball. This game's about perseverance. I got the person I am the most confident with that I've ever played with by my side. We're gonna fucking crush this. Here we go. Ride or die, baby, ride or die. 
tonight is definitely all about communication. Yes, Kayla and Sam are married and probably have incredible communication, but... 60% of marriages end in divorce. <laughs> God, so real, that's bad. We're not the best at communicating under stressful situations. I think Sam's gonna take the lead and I'm just gonna try and stay as calm as possible. All, like, all I'm gonna say is like, Kayla left, Kayla right, okay. and that is it. Left, right, there got you it, go. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you ready? Go! Let's go, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just oh okay, left. Oh okay, left. Gosh. Right. Let's see who's got what tour. Okay, so you're going this way and that way, and I go, I'm coming this way. Okay. So let me get let me get the balls out. Okay. Wait, try and get that one out. See that one by itself? Yeah, yeah, I'll, well, I'll let's focus on that one. Okay. I right, get that out. Good, good, good. There you go. Yeah, it's like you're playing pool, Devin. Devin's coffee table is this maze game. His literal coffee table in his house. How the hell am I supposed to compete with a guy who has this challenge elimination in his living room? Come this uh, way, come this way, Dave. Um, other way, other way, fuck. Other fuck. way? Other You're way, fuck. Hey, Dave, calm down. I'm freaking out. I need you to calm down. I need my mom. Devin and I call each other Dave because we were hungover one morning and I looked at him and I'm like, you look like a frat boy named Dave. And he was like, you look like a Dave. And for some reason, it's stuck. It's so stupid, and it's stuck. And also, like, if you're watching this and you're annoyed by us, just imagine how annoying it is to be <laughs> us. Because we can never escape. I know. It's brutal. There you go. Keep it right there for me. Now that's going to go through. Now hammer it hard. OK, no, you're both away, away. Okay. Okay. Somehow, out of nowhere, we get a ball in. And I, I'm thinking maybe we got this. Let's go, let's follow up. Now, just, let's just chill for a second. Yeah, now I'm gonna come back like this. Yeah, okay, now go. And we gotta go real slow, get that little bitch in there. Oh, Slide it right in. Oh, no, we got you, we got you, don't move. Other way, get it, no. That's okay, Sorry. That's okay. Uh, okay. Side, side. It's, yeah. it's free. That's fine. Beautiful. It's anybody's game. Uh. Say that, say that, say that. Sorry, say sorry, that. sorry, sorry. Now switch. <laughs> this is the wrong tactic. Okay, what then? Let's get these all out again. I don't get it. It's not me. You got it. You got it. It's you. You need to get it. You to go it. towards me more. Well, I'm, I'm already all the way left. OK, well, I don't get it. I don't. They're a married couple. You would expect the communication to be there, but maybe married couples aren't meant for the challenge. That means I'm going to have to wait to marry him. <laughs> I it's don't know. It's the tiny spin. It's the tiny spin. You've got it's it. Not... Keep going. Keep going. Kayla, I'm sorry. I'm doing a terrible job. OK, okay now. now it's me, right? It's, uh, it's you? It's yeah, you. that's me. That's me. Fuck. That's blocked again. Blocked. Well, we got to get it through that. This takes extreme focus and it takes both teams to stay calm and communicate with their partner. Corey and Devin are killing this shit, and it's giving me goosebumps. Just keep trying. I'm just going to keep doing the same shit over and over. There you go. There you go. Just a little tilt back for you. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Ooh. Way to go, y'all. Nice. Lucky for us. This is where I thrive. I'm five and two in eliminations. I've got legend after legend on my hit list. I can do it again with Tori by my side. Oh, Tiny. not that way. Yeah, yeah. Look. Plus, anyway. Oh, okay. fucking hell. Keep it there. Oh, we're so close. Look at us. Look at us. Tori, go. stop. I'm done. Do not move. I'm not moving. Do not fucking move. Go. Send her home, baby. Change. Change yeah. direction. Change direction. Go, 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 go. Fortunately, we have to stay here now. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, I don't think I would have been able to do that without you. I hope that everybody in the house right now is kind of feeling a little nervous because obviously me and Devin came to play. Good job, Devin! It's OK. We're married. The communication skills are supposed to be like right up there. They just weren't. I definitely hope that this isn't the last time that you see me or Sam on the challenge. I mean, it can only come from here at this point, right? <laughs> You guys killed it. I hate the fact that I'm going home first. I feel like such a loser. I thought everyone liked you. Me too. You, I don't know what vibe you're giving them. I don't know. <laughs> Kayla and your husband, Sam. Unfortunately, the love wasn't enough to get you through this game. I hope your marriage lasts way longer 
than your time in this game. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Hey, take care of yourselves, and uh, hopefully we'll see you both in the future. Take care. Bye. You're both awesome. Flawless victory on me and Johnny's end. It's been a good honeymoon. Short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That is one less target that me and my ride or die have to worry about. Tori, Devin, congratulations. Well done. Go ahead and rejoin the group. Still in it, going for the money. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Beaver. Tori and I, we're coming for blood. As you can see, anything can happen on the challenge. I told you, you gotta be careful who you trust, especially me. You can never trust TJ. He's always pulling out some twists and turns out of his ass. You just got to expect the unexpected. These are some of the greatest ride or die of all time. Bring them out. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy. Wow. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. What the fuck? Banana wow. man. Bananas and Nani. I cannot believe that this just happened. Oh, I never thought I'd say it, but a sight for sore eyes. Quite a fucking crew you assembled here, T. Woo! This completely changes the game. Let's party. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. You're a liar. The draw is where you get the dirty work done. He's manifesting his departure. Do we need to do this on camera? I'm feeling friendly. You made me look like a clown in front of the whole house. I would have never snuggled your ex in front of you. When I called you garbage, I meant that you were garbage. You can't be trusted. You're liars and you're floaters. If you don't have the one person that you love the most riding for you, then who do you have? 